You're gonna you're gonna look at me, okay? Okay. Ready? Yes. Uh, Monty, thanks for joining us here at the uh, Gray Wolves uh, facility. And I heard your speech. You talked about Goodman Networks EVP uh, policy or, or culture. Can you talk about what that means? Sure. The EVP or employee value proposition is something that we laid out to answer the question for all employees and prospective employees, which is basically what do I get from Goodman Networks in exchange for my hard work and commitment to the company? Mm -hmm. And you talked about veterans and your, uh, I guess, your culture of supporting veterans. Can you yes. maybe expand on that? Sure. One of the components of the EVP is working for a company that you're proud of. And one of the reasons that we state that people might be proud of to work at Goodman, um, one is it's a company based on Judeo-Christian principles, and another is it's a company that honors its country, its heritage, and its veterans. And can you talk about the intersection of Warriors for Wireless, Gray Wolf, um, PCI, yes. and, and even Goodman? Well, the intersection happens at uh, the gap between the number of people needed to work in wireless infrastructure, which is what Goodman does, um, and then the uh, number of veterans that are returning. So there's a there's a need for employees, and there are many returning veterans that would be great candidates for these jobs. So what we need to do is get them trained and equipped to do these jobs, and then get them hired into these positions. And we'll partner with PC. CIA to do that. Okay. Have you hired anyone through the uh, wireless, the Warriors for Wireless program to date? We have not to date. We participated in some career fairs, right? Uh, but our plan and intent is to do a lot of that in 2015 and beyond. And as we move from macro to small cell and headnet networks, can you maybe talk about how the demand for tower climbers is going to shift to other types of um, uh, field force workers? Well, sure, in, in so much as an HR person can answer that, yeah. I will. Uh, but we do know that um, the, the demand for for macro cells is going to decline at some point in the future. Yeah. We don't know when, but at some point it will. Um, and so what we'll have to do is is change the uh, the approach, the training content, the development, et cetera. And because of the target changes, you have to get workers that are equipped at uh, small cell and DAS installations. Yeah. And we'll partner with as many groups groups and universities to do that as we can. And during your presentation, you talked about how Goodman was formed, I think, in 2000. Today, you're over yes. a billion in revenue and 5,000 employees. Yes. What does the next couple years look like in terms of staffing? Well, we plan to continue to grow, um, and we plan to continue to grow in, in new areas of, of business for us, like um, our DAS and small cell groups. We plan to get into enterprise business. We plan to get into different types of, of support um, and customer service types of areas. We call it Goodman 2.0. Okay. So moving from Goodman 1.0, which is uh, our current business, and looking to, to plan and grow for the future. Great. Monty, thanks for joining us. All right, thank you. Good to see you. Appreciate it. Get this thing clipped off here. And um, I don't know if you and I